Hey folks, it's Mikey here, and I'm back on my YouTube channel. It's been a little, little bit since I've done a video, but, um, probably wondering why I have the ca camera pointed at my television. Well, I'm not going to do any gameplays on this video, but this video is going to be a rant. And this rant is not about a user or a troll. But before I get into this rant, I've got Corey and Ben as the Skype guests. But, um, yeah. oh, right. Now, this rant I, I'm going to be doing about, and I've actually done it on this person once on my channel already. And, of course, many of you know I'm a big NASCAR fan, but the rant is on NASCAR driver Kyle Busch. If you haven't heard the news, he got a speeding ticket in Denver, North Carolina, which... Which, it would be pointless if I would do a rant video about him getting a speeding ticket, but there's a reason to this story that goes with the speeding ticket. He was actually disrespectful to a police officer. Which I read the police report online. Which I'll give you a link to the news article and the police report in the description box. But, um, I'm going to try to make this rant short and sweet. I want to know a few things, like, let me start off with, with Kyle Bush, okay? Mr. Bush, I don't know why, what, why you always have to have an attitude towards the fans, towards the people. You and your brother, Kurt, are just, I'm, are nothing but, you know, immature little babies. You both, I mean, you both can't learn to, to show respect to the fans or to the media. Well, I mean, Kyle shows the media a little bit more respect, but Kurt doesn't. Although I notice Kurt has turned the, toned the line down with the media a bit this year. But, um, Kyle, Kyle, I wish that police officer would have arrested you for being disrespectful to him. And you saying, you know, oh, I thought it was a 55 miles per hour speed zone. When you were going 65. <sighs> you just want to make me get have a big face palm right now. You may win races, Kyle. But it's your attitude that's, you know, what's got the fans mad at you. That's why you get booed at every week in the grandstands. You get attacked by a lot of people. Even some of the, you know, your fellow NASCAR drivers don't like you. I mean, come on, Kyle. It's time for you to be a mature man. Yes, you won. You won races. You know which, would be. But. But you just having like, a cocky and arrogant attitude? I mean, come on. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, uh, I, uh, I don't know what else to say, I mean, about Kyle. I mean, that's all I can think about. Except for, you know, Kyle, you need to really, you know, change your attitude. And, you know, and his brother, Kurt, which I'll have to say, he's kind of toned the line down a bit, but I won't bash him too badly in this video, but many of you know, he's had problems with the media in the past. I mean, of course, I know that I can give you several instances with Kurt Busch. Like, you know, yeah, it was a couple, two years ago at Dover, he was parked for that race for telling a reporter. Wouldn't help me from beating... The, the you know what out of you, or like there was another incident I believe. Yeah, the, a fan actually caught this on his phone and uploaded to YouTube. He he was being a really disrespectful to an ESPN reporter while waiting to get interviewed. Or you know another instance, I was at the New Hampshire. Yeah, it was a New Hampshire fall race, which I didn't see that race because I only watch NASCAR during during when there's no football. But he disrespected Jamie Little from ESPN.
that's pretty much it it here folks um sorry if I'm not good at these rants I'm like I said you know what Kyle just change your attitude okay if you don't change your attitude you know what it's only gonna get worse from here but I'll tell you know what while I'm back on the subject of Kyle, I think the stupidest thing I ever witnessed him did, and that was when the NASCAR Nationwide Series years ago ran at Nashville. When he won that Getson guitar and smashed it. Which, that really hurt. I can't remember his name. He does the artwork in NASCAR. I don't remember his name. I mean, you know, I, I'm going to remember names a lot of the times, but... It hurt the guy's phone who made that guitar. I mean, he worked his butt off. And then you go to Victory Lane and you smash a gu that guitar. A beautiful piece of artwork. You, you won. Which, when you race at Nashville, I think, no matter what series it's in, the winner gets a, gu gets a guitar. Whether it's IndyCar or NASCAR. But, I'll say it one more time and I won't repeat myself. Kyle, change your attitude. Or it's going to get down, you know, worse for you in life. Anything else anybody want, any of y'all want to say anything before I close this video? Good luck with that one. Yeah, good luck with that one. I mean, you know what? I like to have five minutes with... No, I like to have 30 minutes with Kyle Bush and have a chat with him about, you know, how he can change his attitude. I mean, Kyle, if you don't like what anybody's saying to you, you know what? You ignore it! I mean... I know you, you block... He, he blocked me when I had one of my old Twitter accounts at one time because I told him to you know, change his attitude. And, you know... He got all butt hurt about it. <laughs> Kyle, you you know, be a man and take criticism, okay? If you didn't have, you know, act the way you would, I wouldn't criticize you. The fans wouldn't boo you. But just, just learn to be a civil adult. You know, you're in a public eye, eye, you know. Alright, you know what, before this video gets any worse, I'm going to end this video right here. I hope y'all enjoyed my video. Good night, God bless, love y'all, and remember, God loves you, and so do I.